Another Yakin' with Yajagoff, you know, from the Yajagoff podcast, the Yajagoff.com blog. And we are with my man right here, and we're going to be talking to David Allen, fashion guy who's putting Pittsburgh on the map for fashion and these things, the proper knot. So here we are where the magic happens, fashion magic in Pittsburgh, and we're with David Allen, who's putting Pittsburgh on the map for fashion. David, how are you? Good to see you, John. So people, I don't I don't know how many Pittsburghers know you. Tell everybody about what you're doing here. So I am trying to change fashion. Uh, men's fashion has not been changed in years. Um, it's been lapel flowers, lapel pins, neckties, pocket squares, and that's it. Uh, so I came up with an idea to, hey, how can I take my favorite five neckties and turn those into my favorite 50 neckties? So I created and invented uh, and patented uh, the proper knot, which is what I'm wearing right now. Okay, yeah. And uh, and then I like your theme where you're, I mean, you're working with some huge people sure. putting Pittsburgh on the map, and huge size-wise and huge sure, name-wise, absolutely. right? Yeah. You're, you're the tailor to the stars at this point. Yeah, we're, we're growing like, uh, like crazy every month. We're adding new clients. We style all of WWE wrestling. Uh, John Cena is, is probably our biggest superstar that we're working with right now. Um, so I talk to him almost on a daily basis. Um, you know, everybody, uh, Jonathan Coachman from ESPN is a client. We're starting to do some more work with them. Uh, we've done some work with some Pittsburgh Steelers and we just continue to grow each month. And uh, it's been word of mouth that's really helped us get to the point where we are. I love the part that you didn't even start sewing until you were, what, 28 years old? Yeah, I was 28 years old. I, um, to, to create the product, I hired a seamstress to make it and it was taking you know, 10 days, 14 days to actually deliver the product to me. And I realized I was not gonna be able to grow a business that way. So yeah. I went out, purchased a sewing machine um, and the ladies at Joanne Fabrics became good friends of mine, kind of guided me in the right direction. And then I relied on YouTube for about a, a year and a half to, to, to learn and teach myself how to make those. That way, if an order came in, I was able to, to basically head to the office upstairs, sew the product and send it out the next day. Yeah, and this is the proper knot, by the way. This is one of them here. And then you can see one on our guy, our, our guest star right here, <laughs> the Pittsburgh Penguin one here. The one thing I think is so Pittsburgh of you, and it's so this is what Pittsburgh's all about, is you're doing good with your products as well. And you are trying to set a tone where, you know what, men are looking sloppy. <laughs> men are looking sloppy these days, and you want them to look like gentlemen. Sure, sure. Yeah, we're trying to create a movement, so it's not necessarily just about custom clothing or the proper knot. You know, with terrorism, with racism, all the stuff that's going on in the world, social media glamorizes that. Well, we're trying to say, hey, let's stop that. You know, go back to the 1940s and 50s when you'd go to the grocery store dressed up in a suit. You'd go to the movies in a suit. You'd travel wearing a suit. Um, but also, it was about chivalry, and that's dying as well. And I think we're putting a cool spin on it uh, to actually make it exciting again. So we're, we're doing well, but we have a long way to go. Yeah, so you started this business, and now life is havoc. Life is havoc. <laughs> Life is insane, crazy, but it's the best experience and the best roller coaster I've ever been through. Yeah, we were talking before the camera started rolling is that, you know, you get in that position where you need to do something, you press that panic button and it's all, it's a, it's a full go, full tilt from there. Yeah, absolutely. I, I was fired from my medical sales job. I was doing it for about eight years. Uh, it's funny, I was actually sitting in, in a, a parking lot in Ohio talking to a buddy of mine from Chicago and I called him and I was like, man, my, my clothing is suffering and my day job is suffering. When do I know to quit? Yeah. As soon as I hung up the phone, I had an email in my inbox waiting for me from my boss emailing the president of the company and had a screenshot of my call log and, and I knew that was it. Three days later, that was the, the last day of employment for me. Uh, it was tough. It was a tough pill to swallow. But um, a lot of people say you need that kick uh, off the ledge and you're going to hit the wall a hundred times on the way down. And, and we have, but now we're starting to, to soar a little bit, which is good. Yeah. Can't wait to send those guys proper knots, huh? Well, I, I, I <laughs> sent uh, the computer and all my accessories back in a nice David Allen box. So oh, that was, nice that was my yeah. thank you for them. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the not, not tasteful uh, way to do it, but it was, it was kind of my little jab back. So. Nicely done. So the trajectory is doing this for David Allen fashion. And you're, you had a huge fashion show here in Pittsburgh with Steelers and all kinds of wrestlers. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, here we're again, 
Pittsburgh on the map for food, it seems like, but now, right here, you're the only guy putting us on the map for, uh, for fashion. Does that mean that jorts are going out of fashion? Well, we're gonna start incorporating jorts in 2017 <laughs> into our look, so yeah. uh, we have to keep it organic with Pittsburgh, so we're gonna try to figure out how we can kind of keep that uh, staying around for us. Is there, is there also <laughs> a way you can get the tight-fitting wet t-shirt <laughs> on large men at Kennywood? Uh, to, you know? It's funny, when you said jorts, I instantly thought of Kennywood, so <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll have to open up a pop-up shop in Kennywood in, in the summer of 17. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, I mean, I need all that because I have five pair of shorts at home. Sure. I need those to come back in fashion, Absolutely. So. You can't waste them. Yeah, I cannot. <laughs> yeah. So, well, man, I can't thank you for being on uh, the Yakking with your Jag off and all that you're doing to put Pittsburgh on the map. That's so totally awesome. And this is really it. This is where the magic happens. This is your place. You get up. You don't even go to bed, probably. Uh, I don't sleep too often. A couple hours a week, and that's really all I can afford at this point. The pool so. table's loaded with clothes and sewing things yep. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And a box going to John Cena. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll get the picture of the address for you. So, so anyways, um, this is this is the proper knot. And uh, if I, you don't mind, I'll display I'd it for everybody. I'd love to see I mean, you try I'm it no on. model, but I mean, you Let's know. see what you can I'm do. I'm no Ken doll, but you Let's know. So you um, I'm thinking that, John, John, hey, it's a little bit big, but it goes on your tie, you jag off. 